yesterday at cell group we were talking about men of faith you know the hebrews 11 and all the things that they did and the joseph story stuck to me from the time joseph was having dreams then joseph was sold then joseph ended up in egypt and then joseph was in prison and then joseph was out of prison and was now in charge right so when i looked at it when we read it in the bible it it's like it's like it happened today joseph was sold tomorrow joseph was in prison the following day joseph was in in power but that's not how it happened it happened over years so it took time joseph was sold and joseph was only 17 years old and then from being sold now you're in a foreign land from the foreign land as if that's not worse you end up in jail for something that you didn't do in prison from prison uh you trust people and they still let you down and then you eventually end up in being in power right so what i kind of got from the story is that you know god is actually saying i'm the author of your life i have the pen um, and i'm still writing your story so we get stuck up in the prison story or in our trouble in our problems that we forget that this is a journey and god is still writing it god not writing but god is still orchestrating it ha, be good so yeah um it's don't mistake the end of a chapter to be the end of the book close the chapter and move on to the next chapter right now your chapter might be messy might be hard might be difficult but that's not the end of the book it's the end of the chapter keep trusting god keep hoping i mean to a point where joseph said to his family when you leave uh egypt because i know one day you will please take my bones with you because he believed that he is going to leave so don't mistake my lesson today is or oh, my point is don't mistake the end of a chapter to be the end of the book it's still god is still the author god still has the pen ne? Ne? Sure.